the most adult thing I want to do is I think I do want to get married someday. I think that is something I want to do, which surprises me a little bit because I just don't know that I'll be good at marriage because marriage requires a lot of compromise, and I think compromise is dumb. Uh, <laughs> Because recently I was talking to my brother and I was like, hey man, you want to grab some lunch? And he said, yeah, let me run it by my wife real quick. And I was like, what? I used to do lunch, not cocaine. Ugh. That sucks. And I know that the idea of marriage is that it lasts forever, right? That is the social contract we have all signed up for marriage lasts forever. But I think... On a subconscious level, a lot of people don't actually believe that anymore. And my proof is that whenever I'm in a room like this with a bunch of people and someone says that they've been married for like 40 or 50 years, everybody has the same reaction. You know what that is? Everybody goes, wow, and then starts clapping, right? Which is the exact same reaction we all have when we see a magic trick. <laughs> We react to forever marriages like they are magic tricks. Everybody's like, oh my God! How did they do that? I am impressed and frustrated. I want to know how they did that, but I'm not going to learn how to do it myself. I bet they use a lot of mirrors. <laughs> Marriage has always been a bit of like a controversial issue in our country, which is weird to me. You know, like it's been illegal at times for different people to marry different people. Like back in like the 1950s and 60s, it was illegal for black people to marry white people in a lot of America. And a lot of dumb people back then would say things like, we can't let black people marry white people because then what's next? Gay people getting married? And then you fast forward like 60 years and then there's like a whole new group of dumb people when the gay marriage debate was a whole thing a whole new group of dumb people were saying things like we can't let gay people get married because then what's next people marrying animals and like that strain of logic is very troublesome because if we extrapolate that like another 60 years people are gonna be like we can't let people marry animals what's next animals marrying inanimate objects you know can you imagine those protesters? Like, it'll be a cold day in hell before I let some turtle marry his favorite sunbathing rock. <laughs> My wife, who, yes, happens to be a giraffe. <laughs> we think turtle rock weddings are immoral. And moreover, they are impractical. I mean, a turtle and a rock? Talk about the slowest wedding ever. Ugh. You'd be in the back for hours like, give her the gosh darn piece of lettuce already. Let's move. <laughs> if you hate Turtle Rock weddings, grab your picket sign. Shell marriage is hail marriage. Shell marriage is hail marriage. 